All right, y'all. Well, you can't see the smiley face, but that's on the 27th right there. 27th, and today is the 4th. The 4th. So we're going to take one in. It's a day over, but that's seven days. But I might as well take that piece of copper off and get some of this stainless off of there. Might as well get some of that done. Strip a little bit of that copper up. Uh, I'll count my bucket of whatever I got out of the dumpster yesterday. And I'll cut two tires. I'm going to cheat a little bit. We'll come back and we'll reduce that fan pile some more. I've got uh, a couple of motors just sitting there. I'm thinking about just piling those bad boys up. So I'll get all this together and um, I'll try to show you what all we're taking. I'm going to get rid of that 10 shred barrel. Those things add up. And uh, we'll take the sheet, um, that extruded bucket, we'll take that zinc die cast, that rim's already cut, I just got to peel the tire off, we'll take in this cast, and this little bit of brass, it ain't much, it just looks like it's a little bit of something. I don't know if I'm going to waste my time on the stainless, there's probably only about 25-30 pounds of that stuff. And then, of course, you got your coppers. Number one, number two. I got a bucket of bear bread somewhere around here. I'll strip about another three pound of that real fast. Just to make it add up because this stuff is uh, over four bucks a pound. So let me get this all together, guys, and uh, I'll get back with you. I'll show you what's all loaded up on the trailer. I'd do this right here with you, but I've got a video on this already. Uh, I'll link it somewhere up in there, if I remember. It's a couple videos back. I've done tankless water heaters before. But they come with all kind of goodies. Uh, this one come with um, these. Let me get this box, this thing out of the way. This one come with uh, all kind of brass knob fixtures. Instead of uh, it being solid pipe into the side, on the other side here they have... Um, uh, you can't see it now. I done cut it off, but they had ribbed inlets. They had inlets for this brass. This ain't a piece of brass, but this would seat right up in it. And they came right out. They popped them right out. I just popped it out and came out. Those are easy to do. Just put your screwdriver up under there. Here, I'll get a flathead. This is a, a busted up flathead. You just put your screwdriver under there and you just peel them up. Twist it the opposite way. And that's, that's it. You go around them tabs and you smack them off. Now right here, all along this border, that's a piece of iron. Iron to iron. It's kind of like a flange or uh, whatever you call them. I can't think of the word right now. I'm tired. I just got in. So let me clean some of this stuff up. Gasket, that's what I was thinking about. That sheet bucket's definitely going to weigh a little bit of something. And then we got that cast grill at a... My buddy knocked apart for me because I'm lazy. Get all this up and get on the truck. Total it up for you. And I'll show you the ticket. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take this little bit of stuff in right here. Uh, I got that out of there real fast. A little bit earlier than I thought. Let me show you all the trailer here. Got a bucket of 10 shred. A little bit of extra 10 shred there. Got a little bit of stainless steel cast inside the brass because I don't want it to fly out. There's brass down in there somewhere. You all seen that a couple videos ago. Got some uh, a rim. Yeah, I clean that up. Some junk wire. Some sheet. Oh, let me see what else we got here. I'm going to take this in as breakage. I'm not wasting bits and saws on this. And then our die cast. And then under there is the cast bucket. And that's what that grill top goes with. There's a lot of cast in there. There's a stainless, that's kind of embarrassing. But yeah, we'll get you the ticket. We'll, uh, we'll weigh it up. This is what happens when you when you pull some buckets out of your storage unit. You kind of get a little bit of room, huh? Just a little bit. All right, let me get those tickets for y'all. Well, before we get to the scrap ticket, eh, we got a little bit more to come in here. Got two of these tanks, I'll probably sell those. Whole bunch of goodness in this barrel. Uh, gas knobs stainless aluminum there's another barrel here 
And another barrel there. I'm sure there's going to be some brass because I see a brass nugget right there. Whole bunch of miscellaneous. Those are uh, aluminum pipe, aluminum sheet that say shell on them. Come on. There you go. These are aluminum. Nice, huh? And another bucket there. I got one of these diesel. I got a transformer in it and stuff. That's cool. Take that transformer out and the little nuggets there. I got a few other things I stashed around here. I want to check on this. See what this is. Probably take it off. I know that's a brass ring right there. Let's go over this ticket. I'm going to get this out to you. All right. Uh, 504. Price of a uh, shred was 9.75 cent. Uh, 58 cent on stainless. What do we got here? 68 cent on uh, 61, 63 aluminum mix because I ain't separating it for the extra three cent. Cast was uh, 55 cent. 83 cent on auto rims, which is cool. Sheet aluminum is 56 cent. Uh, 99 cent on something or another there. All uh, painted aluminum. Whatever the hell, I don't understand. Whatever. Uh, Bare bright wire, four dollars and twenty-two cent a pound. Copper number one was four oh nine a pound. Nice. Number two, three eighty-five. Uh, Thirty-five percent and under, I guess, is what that is. I don't know. Forty uh, percent and above was a dollar nine. Brass two fifty-two a pound. Zinc die cast is 63 cent for a whopping total of 656. And I still got a bunch more goodies come in. I still got a little bit of fans to do, but not many. I got buckets of shit loaded up for everybody. We're gonna keep doing this until uh until we drop. Party till party like a rock star, man. Tweak for scrap, that's what we do around here. Hey, make sure you get the video a thumbs up. Check out my drill collection starting to get long i don't want no she said jokes on that one i got some chevy emblems going on over there i can't wait to hang up my american flag when i get a moment i'm gonna hang that son of a bitch right up here probably from there all the way it'll drape all the way down to the ground yeah that's a long way there those are like three foot sections two and a half three foot sections all right smash that thumbs up y'all